Hi, I'm Paul. This is That's Paul and Sean Show, and this week, I make a wand. Check it out. You're going to need a dowel rod, carving tools, suede lace, a hot glue gun and glue, wood stain and brush, and some sandpaper. I used medium grade. Take your carving tools and start whittling. You want to keep the end for the bottom of the handle, so start working towards the middle of the dowel rod. Keep turning your dowel as you're whittling to keep it as even as possible. Eventually I was able to get the tip small enough so that I was able to break off the wand from the rest of the dowel. Here's where I marked the handle. You want a fairly deep score here so that you can keep the handle the full size of the dowel. And now it's whittling time. Whittle and whittle and whittle and whittle until your hands get tired and then whittle some more, constantly turning to make sure it's as even as possible. You may want to do this outside. It's pretty messy. Me? I needed an excuse to vacuum my floors anyways. You need to keep at this until you've got a fairly consistent tip. How pointy or how even is entirely up to you. It's your wand after all. At this point, you will want to sand your wand. I forgot, so I ended up having to do it after a layer of stain. Definitely wouldn't advise that. Once you have your wand in the shape you want, it's time to coat it in stain. I coated my handle, but that turned out to be a waste of time. Not to mention it made a real mess on my hands. Again, you'll probably want to do this outside. It's got quite the pungent odor to it. If you do it inside, make sure you've got plenty of ventilation. You'll need to take a paper towel and wipe off any extra stain. Once the stain has had time to dry, you're ready to put the suede lace on. You need some hot glue, so get your gun warmed up. Roll your suede up into a spiral, add some hot glue to the bottom of the handle, and then attach your spiral to the bottom of the wand. From here, it's just a matter of winding the lace around and around and around your handle until it's fully covered. I kept it as tight as possible. Once you get to the top, you'll need to pick a place to put some more hot glue on and to finish the handle out. Then you can get some scissors to cut the suede lace off. And voila, one handmade wand. Enjoy. In order to test whether this works, I've invited a clone. Say hello, clone. Hello. Hey. That's right. I've got clones. Hi. I'm a clone. Hey, how come I gotta do all the work around here? Silencio. Immobilis. Stupefy. Well, I think that turned out just fine. And as always, if you like it, like it. If you want to see what happens next, click that subscribe button. And questions, comments, and suggestions, down in the doobly-doo. Later. Knox. J'ai une grande indon dans mon pantalon. <laughs>